Right, I want us to move on to the second part, 1.1.2, where we are tested. What do you do if you don't find factors? Of course, we use what we call a quadratic formula. I want us to apply this formula. Remember, you only use this formula if you can't find factors. And the question usually says, correct to two decimal places or to whatever number of decimals. That the, becomes the key. And the marks are usually higher than the straight factorization. As you can see, the marks are usually between five to six marks. The other one, the factorization between three and four marks. So this, it's the same thing. Quadratics, quadratics, quadratics. You put everything in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C first. In all these seven subtopics under algebra, think of, think of quadratics. AX squared plus BX plus C equal to zero, then you solve. Is this in that form? No. Let's work it out. X times three, this will give me uh, three X. X times minus X, it gives me minus X squared. Take this minus three, this side it will be minus three equal to zero. Is this, is this arranged in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C equal to zero? No, let's arrange it. Remember, the coefficient of A must always be positive for this to work. Make sure that you make it positive. If I look at the coefficient of A here, it is negative. So I can take everything that side to make it positive. Oh, I think we made a mistake there. If I take this, this side, it should be positive. Now, that's the correct one. Now, if I want to make this positive, I've got to multiply everything by negative or take everything that side for it to be positive. So eventually, I will have x squared if I multiply it by negative, right? Minus 3x minus 3 equals to 0. Right, that's what we have. x squared minus 3x minus 3 equals to 0. Is it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c? Ah, it is in that form, and I have zero on the right-hand side. Then I can factorize. Mm. The first step when you factorize is to look for a common factor. Do we have a common factor here? No, we don't have a fa common factor. Can we factorize? Uh, factors of three are three and one. There is no way where you can add three and one and you get three. There is no way when you can subtract or add three and one and get three. So there are no factors. What do we do? We use the quadratic formula. What does it say? It says x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Ah, this is the quadratic formula. This formula becomes important and you are given it in your formula sheet. This formula is called the quadratic formula. We use it to solve for x if you can't find factors like in this particular case. Like in this particular case. Remember, where is this b's and a's and c's? ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Any number which is before x squared, the coefficient of x squared we refer to it as a. The coefficient of b of, of, of x we refer to it as b, and the constant term is c. This is where you will find these values you are going to substitute to there instead of A. This is what we have. This is what we have at the moment. This is what we have. And it is in the form of A x squared, B x, and C. And you can see what is A there, what is B there, what is C. Let's write it down. The value of A in this particular problem, A, ah, 1 x squared. So A is 1. What is B? Ah, B is not 3 but it is minus three. Make sure that you don't leave this one out. So it is minus three. And the constant term in this particular case is also minus three. Ah, I've got my A, I've got my B, and I've got my C. I substitute. Remember one thing. When we deal with the nature of roots later on, this becomes important. B squared minus four AC. It's called the discriminant. We'll be using it again when we do the subtopic under algebra called the nature of roots. What is inside the, the square root sign is called the discriminant b squared minus 4ac. It is the one that determines the nature of roots. But let's move on with this topic. Now we've got our values. We've got x is equal to, let us substitute. 
let me give you a hint. Most cases, we will be giving you a B that will be negative, so that you'll make mistakes. There's this negative, then there's B. I'm saying to you, in most cases, this B that is here will make it negative. Like in this particular case, you can see that your B is negative 3. But Elena has got a tendency of, not, of in, ignoring this and assume that it is the same as that one. You've got to write minus first before you write B. So if you notice all these problems, you'll have a B which is negative for you to be caught. So don't allow yourself to be caught. The thing, the first thing you have to do is to write minus. Then you write B. The learners will, will, will make a mistake by writing, oh, there's minus, then there's three, and this is B. This will be wrong. The correct way is to write minus first, then write B. What is B in this particular case? It is minus three. Learners have got a tendency of writing only one negative sign there. Plus or minus, square root of, remember we've talked about B in this particular case, it is minus 3, it is squared, minus 4. What is A? A in this particular case is 1. We got it from here, A is 1. For A, C, and what is C in this particular case? It is minus 3. It is minus 3 all over. Two, what is A in this particular case? It is one. I'm putting it like this uh, deliberately. This is wrong. The correct one, everything is over that. So the over should come just before, the, just after the equal sign. So everything is divided by 2A in this particular case. From here, it becomes your calculator work. But at times, I want us to, to, to clean it. Let's quickly clean it. We're going to have X is equals to negative times negative is 3. Let's break it. Remember, you've got plus or minus. So there are two things here. Let's start with the plus 1. Something. We'll work this one out. All over. This 2. 2 times 1 is 2. Or, let's deal with the negative 1. Or X is equals to uh, 3. Minus and minus. It is 3. We've dealt with plus. Now it's minus. Square root of something over Two. You work this one out in your calculator and you'll find the solution there. Uh, this is 9. Let's quickly work it out. Uh, I've got minus 3 and minus 3. It's 9 uh, plus what is this negative times negative will give us positive. 4 times 3 it's 12. Uh, 4 times 3 it's 12 and 9 plus 12 will give us 21. So this is the square root of 21. It is the same thing, 21. Remember, it's plus or minus, plus or minus. I've separated it here for, uh, for, for, for the sake of, of, of this lesson. Now, all that you need to do is to put this in your calculator. Others, you put it this same time in your calculator, put plus. To find the second solution, you, you go and change this plus and put negative there, you'll find the solution in that way. To save time, you do it same time. Let's work it out. All right, it's either you work it from there or you work it from here. Remember, there are two solutions. It's plus, which is plus, or minus, which is minus. It's the same thing, which is positive and negative at the same time. Go to your calculators, go to a fraction button, put the numerator, which is 3 plus root 21, all over 2. Then you find a solution. In this particular case, our solution will be uh, x is equals to 3,79. Correct two decimal places. You are only write two uh, values after the comma. Two digits after, after the comma. You don't have to start all over again to do the second one. Or x is equals to. You go back in your calculator. Where there was plus, you still have the same thing. Where there was plus, you change it into negative. Let you go back with using a cursor, your cursor, uh, there is a, you divide, you sub delete the plus, you put the negative sign now. After that, you put, press your equal sign, your SD button. The answer there will be minus 0, 0,79. These are the two values of x 
Remember, it's still quadratic. We have two values of x in this particular case. This is how you go about doing the quadratic uh, formula. Remember, the formula is given in a formula sheet. You put it in a standard form, in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero first. Then you can see this one is called a, this one is called b, and that one is called c. Then you substitute, it becomes your calculator work afterwards. Thank you.